Hey Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at what is, what or who is blocking your person and their energy, okay? So what is this blocked energy? What's blocking them? What's keeping them stuck? What's preventing them from moving forward with you, from opening yourself, from opening themselves up to you, from opening themselves up to the wondrous possibilities of love? What's keeping them stuck? And, you know, why are they so stagnated here? So we'll see if there are any external or internal issues or if there's any third parties coming up your, around your person's energy. We'll see, you know, what is it that's preventing them from moving forward in the way that you want them to. This is a general message. Therefore, the read, this is a general reading, so the messages are going to be general, but I bet you already know that. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. Okay, guys, I want you to take a moment, and I want you to really focus on your person's energy. Pause the video if you have to. I really want you to focus on your person and the blocked, and their blocked energy. So what, what is it that you want to unblock? Is it their communication style? Is it the way, you know, that they um, hold themselves back? What is it that you want to focus on in helping clear some of this blocked energy? Okay, once you're ready, I'll give the cards a shuffle. <clears throat> and we'll take it from there. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles, okay. Okay, <clears throat> you've got two pages that have come up here. Um, pages are often said to be a younger energy. Okay, so sometimes they can display that emotional, that emotional immaturity or that infantile kind of energy. So your person may be, they may not have that emotional maturity as you do. Okay, maybe that can be explained because maybe some of you do have that age gap between the two of you, where where you yourself are longer, sorry, you yourself are older and therefore a lot more experienced, you know, with long term relationships, with partnerships, or with marriages. And your person is a younger energy, therefore they don't, you know, that they lack that depth and maturity. So this is where the two of you struggle, and this is where you might see them as blocked, or you may see them as not progressive as you want them to be because of that and look age is just a number i get it but at the same time with age comes wisdom and with age comes experience and with age comes maturity and that person i feel like lacks okay a depth or a certain maturity and i feel like this is one thing that's keeping this connection stuck so for instance you might want something you might want like longevity and you want might want something serious and you might want a commitment and you might want to slap a title to this, slap a label to this relationship. They want to, they want to have some fun. They don't necessarily want to rush into anything. Just, they just want to, you know, take it as it comes, you know, just suss everything out. They're not in a rush. Okay. Um, you might feel like your clock is ticking or you might feel like, you know, you want this, you have certain goals that you want to achieve, whereas they feel like, um, they just want to take it easy and they just want to see where this takes them. So there's definitely a difference in the direction in which you want to take things. But again, I feel like that has a lot to do with the fact that the two of you are very, like you have different, and it's, it might not even be age. It's just that the two of you might be at a different stages of your life. So again, I feel like maybe you're perceiving this as something that's blocking them when in actual reality, it's just that the two of you are in different stages in different cycles here i definitely see there is a stuckness though with the hangman's energy um but to me it's again i feel like it's perception you know they say perception is reality so some of you i feel like are looking at your partner and going you know um why aren't they opening themselves up to me or why aren't they ready to fall in love with me or why aren't they wanting to slap a title or slap a label to this so I feel like it's the way that in which you're looking at things, because essentially, if you were to take a step back and look at this connection from a different angle, I guarantee you that all of a sudden um, things will start making a little bit more sense, purely because when you look at things differently, you actually, you actually see things differently. So again, I don't know that your person is entirely blocked. <clears throat> okay, I, I can see that they're, uh, they're probably not blocked, but they are a little bit stagnated. Okay. And some of you might argue it's the same thing, but I feel like it's slightly it's it's slightly different purely because I feel like when it comes to your person, um, I feel like you, you're two very different energies and you see things very differently. 
Um, and that's not to say you're incompatible because, hey, opposites attract. And I, I, you know, I feel like if, if you can find a way to complement the difference of your energies, I feel like this can be an absolutely wonderful opportunity. But at the end of the day, I feel like you, the two of you might need to find um, a balance of some sort. You need to find a way to meet each other halfway because they see the, the, they see the way that they see things and you see things the way in which you see things. And if you can find a way to work and play with each other's energy, I feel like this, this can be really be a wonderful connection or a wonderful union. So what essentially you might see, because you might perceive them as being blocked, but they're not necessarily blocked. Maybe they're just not ready for the things that you are. Because timing is such a, uh, just overall, timing is such a big, it's the most valuable commodity. And it's such a big thing when it comes to romantic relationships. Sometimes you meet the right person, you do, but at the wrong time in your life. You meet them at a time when you're ready for something, when you're ready to settle down and when you're ready for something serious. But your person, the right person, is not. So this is why I feel like maybe for some of you, timing is also a bit of a factor, okay? So again, you know, it's not necessarily that they don't want these things, okay? It's just that they may not want these things right now. See how when we look at things differently, all of a sudden it might change the picture. It might change the perspective. Because I do feel like for some of you, I don't know that this is a... And maybe not right now, guys. So keep in mind with any readings, any tarot readings out there, um, tarot readings are done based on the current energies being emitted, okay? And energies are so fluid, they're in a constant state of fluidity, so they constantly can ship and sh uh, ship and, sorry, shift and change, right? So right now, from what I'm getting, and I'm only being honest, to me, the Four of Wands tells me, although you have a very strong connection, you have a very powerful and special connection, and I do feel like there is so much potential to maybe um, one day really end up together, like get married, get engaged, settle down, um, blend families is what I'm seeing, build a family, build a home. I just don't know that right now it's going to happen for you. Because these four of wands, to me, they look like a set of two parallel, two parallel lines running very close side by side to one another, but not actually meeting in the end. So I feel like Again, I feel like what you want, your person wants too, but not right now. And you see it as, okay, what's keeping them stuck or what's, you know, preventing them from coming forward. It's not that they're stuck or it's not that they're blocked. It's just that they're not ready for those things. It's just that the timing of this relationship is what's happening. It's, you know, is what's getting in the way here. Your person, <clears throat> I feel like your person has also needs some healing here. And again, I feel like, you know, timing plays such an important role here because they may not be ready for the very things that you are because they still need to heal certain parts of themselves. There's still wounds that fester for them and that bleed into the present that they need to heal. They may have unresolved uh, pain or emotions, feelings from a previous relationship or from childhood issues or from growing up so there's some healing that they need to do and mind you I do feel like you can put you can play an instrumental role in helping them heal this pain but I also feel like they need to be able to heal and confront some of this own pain individually so again you know this person is in the process of trying to heal a past hurt trying to reconcile um, a past hurt or a past pain of some sort and that's going to take some time and that could be the very thing what's also making them not ready for something okay they want to open themselves up and they will i feel like there'll be a time in the future when your person is going to show you the love that you deserve or your person is going to be very open with you but right now they're not ready to do that they are not ready to do that unfortunately you can't twist their arm into submission right i'm seeing that there is some emotional awakening that's happening around your person's energy i feel like you're you're a very big part of this you've You've influenced them in a very positive way, especially when it comes to opening themselves up and their emotions and dealing with any internal issues. So you've played an absolute important role in that aspect. Um, and you're very loving, you're very caring. And I feel like your person feels even emotionally overwhelmed by the amount of love, care that, and attention that you show them. But I'm seeing that right now your person is going through some sort of emotional awakening. So I feel like 
they're only now getting to I'm not sure if there's certain events that are happening to them or will happen to them in the near future here in the very near future but I feel like they're only now discovering parts about themselves which they never knew and they're only now getting to know themselves um, a little better but I do see that your person in the future is going to be a lot more open it's just that right now you're going to have to be patient because they're not ready remember just because you are ready does not automatically mean that your romantic um, partner is also ready for the very things in which you're ready for you have to be considerate of this okay and just because you're ready now it doesn't mean that they're ready also just because you're ready to you know to fall in love it doesn't mean that they're ready to do the same just because you're ready to settle down and into into a long relationship doesn't mean that they're ready to do to do the same it doesn't mean that they don't want these things it just means that they're not ready for these very things right now but in the future you will find that your person is going to surprise you because I do see them being a lot more emotionally open a lot more emotionally um, expressive okay and that's going to come through an emotional awakening that I feel like your person is either currently undergoing or will undergo in the very near future Alrighty, guys I do hope that these uh, messages here have been helpful to at least some of you if not all watching um, I just want to thank you again for your time and attention. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing. If you're after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, take care, guys. I'll catch up with you later in the week.